evening. Welcome. It's wonderful to be on Gino's spot. Relax, sit down. Coming out of PE town. Got a drink, find a shot. Never mind your liver, get to Gino's spot. Gino's spot. Get to Gino's spot. Have a laugh, have a giggle, and exercise your middle. Have a Gino shot. Gino shot. Get a Gino spot. Gino spot. Get a Gino spot. Gino spot. Have a laugh, have a giggle, and exercise your middle. Get a Gino spot. Gino spot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Gino's Spot on this year, the Tuesday, Tuesday the 17th of August, indeed, Tuesday the 17th of August, two days from my birthday, in case anybody wants to, I like whiskeys, uh, two days from my birthday, to 51, I've never, we haven't, and Michelle Telford's also 51 at this stage, I think, and there we go, do you know Derek Ness, hello there, uh, Michelle Telford, lovely to see you aboard as well tonight. Uh, it's just 51. That's it's a weird thing. We haven't even had a 50th because lockdown. And ah, and Brian Wilkinson, how's it? Evening to you, young man. Lovely to see Brian. Good old boardwalk people there. And Carol Jacobs, right on the button all the way from East London, saying, how's it? I like your cowboy hat dude as well, Carol Jacobs. And, uh, of course, thank you to our sponsors, Fitch and Leeds, and to Sp Bar, as far as, but they, they, you know, the sponsors have been amazing through this lockdown period. I can't thank them enough. And of course, tonight, tonight we have a little bit of a what's your story? This is the Herald because we our guest, it, our guest Derek Nesbitt is offering working for the Herald now. He's doing all the cartoons, so we're going to find out how the inner workings of Derek and find out how he, how he does this stuff. Amazing stuff. Uh, well, I, I see everybody's coming online. Tell me what you're doing. Tell me what you're drinking. We've got a little bit of Fitch and Leeds and a, a little bit of uh, uh, punters here as well. Thanks, Keith. Keith topped us up a bit with, with uh, some of the some of the gin. So cheers, everybody. Here we go. Some lovely punters. Beautiful. Uh, I'd, of course, um, Gary, both Gary and myself got our vaccines. We got pointed. And there's no, as yet, no extra ears growing out of bums. Nothing like that. No extra eyes. Uh, nothing. So, so uh, yeah, a little bit tired. A little bit tired as to today, but I had a little bit of a snooze. And it seems to be all right. It might have been the big lunch that I had as well. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gino's Spot tonight. Of course, we have Darren Fuller on tonight as well. She sent in something for us, and then we're going to get into Derek and find out all about cartoons and art. Art, art, art. Are you good with your hands? Are you good with your hands? Ladies and gentlemen, send me your comments. Let me see if I can sing them. We're going to do a bit of stones. Ha <laughs> ha. Here we go. Welcome to Gino's Spot. James Spears, he says, how's it? And Wendy t t Tumpkin Thompson said, hiya, Gino. And Nikki Lovey Lovemore is said to who? She said, hello, Gino and Derek. A little older, but she's a Lord Buddha. Yeah, he says, uh, I hope to see any of your shows and we can make it. Essay this year, good luck. I hope you can make it too, James. He says, Derek, can you play golf? <laughs> and Brian Wilkins says, Get the Hello, from a lovely 
with the moody right now. All right, it's a hard pizza woman. Give me, give me, give me the honky tonk blues. And a Wendy Swan and an L with two N's and two L's. I thought you could come here to escape the vaccine talk. That's the end of the vaccine talk. <laughs> All right, Jose. Jose Pereira, how's it, man? Jose, nice to see you. The Poras are out in the town uh, tonight. Excellent. Cartoons are great. Exactly, exactly. They are very interesting as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, we have what we always have on a Tuesday, and that is what you're watching with Darren, Darren Fuller. Let's have a look at what Darren has to say. everyone it's me Darren uh, <clears throat> again um, so um, one of the familiar um, my dad's brother thus my uncle we are celebrating his day of birth tonight and as thus I'm feeding him which is why I and tragically am uh, not there this evening I don't have any props because I'm at work so I'm going with these Okay, so guys, um, so this week, um, I did, to be, to be perfectly frank, I actually worked quite a bit, so unfortunately, I wasn't as, um, watchy as usual, but, um, I did manage, oh, obviously, as you guys all know, I'm still continuing with Supernatural, um, but I did just happen to watch two amazing series um, over the weekend and okay so the first the first that I uh, happened to watch uh, was called Dead Places and you know I'd seen it before but I hadn't really gone into it but then it came up you know it came up and it said it's a South African um, series so I was like oh you know that's actually pretty cool so I started watching it and I Guys, I love this show. So, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but for me, I really identify with the show. Obviously, if I can say, oh, my goodness, it's Cape Town. I have seen that mountain. I still haven't been on it, but I've seen it. So, it takes place in Cape Town, um, predominantly in Joburg. But it's very, very cool because, you know, like randomly you'll see a bloody taxi go past. And you're like, hey, I know those taxis. <laughs> so, it's very cool. Um, so, Dead Places is about this uh, author. of um, He writes horror, horror stories. And he's been in England for a while. Um, he left Joburg um, presumably when he was a teenager. Um, and now he's come back to South Africa to write a book. So, now he's investigating various cases, um, various haunted throughout South Africa and um, there's also a lot of backstory where his um, his sister died mysteriously when he was younger so obviously that's still coming out as to her death but it's so good um, the episodes are really well done the storylines fantastic I love the characters um, so I'm so I'm so keen I, I love it I love it and I'm um, not to mention my, a friend of mine was in one of the episodes that's hilarious here's a picture here's a picture of him. Um, I screenshot him and I'm like dude was this you picking up a ghost <laughs> anyway okay so that's dead places uh, very very good South African uh, series on Netflix and then guys this is a difficult one um, because for me I feel that a certain amount of nausea is a is is not necessarily a bad thing in a show but you know you may be different okay so I found this show that just came out called brand new cherry flavor hmm hmm so guys look I think it's absolutely spectacular um, I did study film and you know they love to throw in some Frenchy Chez on loose stuff and they don't mind a bit of nausea but this series is just it's so <laughs> I can't explain this series so it, I'm going to try and give you a premise so a premise is there's this young um, screenwriter um, director she's just come out from a cabin she's been gone for four months and she's apparently directed written and filmed this brilliant 
um, student piece and a really famous director from LA has seen it and he wants to meet up with her. So we're like, okay, cool, fine. I can follow this premise. It's not exactly my Holland drive yet. So she goes to LA, meets up with a friend and then she meets up with this director and he's actually like, you know, um, he really likes it. It's, it's really weird. And they keep speaking about the ending. Like, wow, how did you do the ending? And we're like, Ooh, what ending? So anyway, so she goes through this thing. Um, this director is supposedly helping her, but then, um, he gets of a dodge and he ultimately betrays her. And she meets this mysterious woman who tells her that she can actually get back at him um, through some kind of curse. And that's just, guys, where I, it, where it just goes, it just goes so beautifully bizarre. It, I don't want to spoil, it's difficult to give spoilers because I don't even understand what I'm watching. But I'll just give you some key words. Um, kittens. Strange holes. Holes in your floor that weren't there before. Anyway, it basically, it's like David Lynch on acid. It's just, I don't know, look guys, it's just fantastic. Watch it. At least watch two episodes before you decide if you're like, hells no, this is going to like damage my brain cells forever. But I loved it. I thought it was bloody fantastic. It's so bizarre. I'm on the fifth episode and I'm still, I'm still not, I have no idea where it's going. No idea. So guys, okay, those are the two main series that I watched um, over this week, and they are both really good. I really would suggest you watch both. And then lastly, um, not it's coming out tomorrow um, for my fellow murder, not murder enthusiasts. I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm not enthusiastic. Go murder, don't go murder. But um, there is uh, the tapes, uh, memories of a murderer, um, tapes of. Uh, the Nilsson tapes. Um, so it's a uh, serial killer tapes from from the from the actual killer from the jail cell. Sounds very promising. I mean, it's, it's not promising, but it sounds very interesting in any case. So yes, guys, um, that's what I've been watching this week. Please do check out brand new cherry flavor and dead places. They're so so good, really good. Anyway, have a fantastic week, and I shall see the anon. Bye. And welcome to Gino Spot. How's that little bit of an introduction for no, Derek Nesbitt? No, 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 not enough, but... <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to have you here. Thank you, mate. Um, you know, uh, the, the show's always been about Eastern Cape, Eastern Cape peeps, you know, uh, get it, and, and, uh, yeah. and entrepreneurs, peep, artists, people that are doing their own thing, you know, surviving in this time. Mm. So, I mean, what are you doing to survive? <laughs> well... Actually, uh, COVID's been pretty good. <laughs> uh, really, uh, really? <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> uh, so lots of COVID programs. Yes, it's um, okay. Obviously, okay. the Herald. Yeah, the Herald, Herald's been great. I mean, you, you, when did you start there? Uh, no, 1st of July. First, so it's very fresh. Very fresh off the... Yeah, hopefully they like my work. And, yeah, uh, well, it's been going and, great so far. I've seen a couple and I... I, I and uh, obviously, uh, big big shoes to fall, eh? Right? Yeah, okay, okay, yes, um, yes. Yeah, Mark Wiggett... Uh, Mark will be there for and, many and years. By the way, I, I just want to say... Yeah. Um, that I actually wish him... All the best with his... Uh, I know he's going through health problems... Uh, okay. And whatever, and... Um, okay. Nobody wants to take off, yeah, or take over. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that. it's you know, it's like a. Um, I but, mean, to 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 fill up somebody's shoes, it's like Trevor Noah going on with John Stewart. You know, it's like a. Oh, you, you, he's got his ways, and and they kind of almost set. His readers are probably set as well. So you've yeah. got to kind of break through. It's been difficult. Well, uh, you know, he's uh, you know he's he was a guy that I, uh, even a Technicon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I yeah, was yeah. a great fan. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so you, did, did, you, did you study together? Or, or no, he was ahead man? of me, yeah. He was, he was ahead of me, but I always used to look at his pictures and go, wow, man. Yeah. <laughs> do you think it was, yeah. a, I mean, yeah. A, a, yeah. because how do you get into something like that? I mean, a, a cartoon a cartoon thing, you know, it's like, it's a, or, or, or like, or like a, 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 it's almost like it, it should be in the movies or it should, like animation or something like that. No, it, no, not really. I mean, it, when I started, I mean, you know, remember there were no cell phones. Yeah, 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 it's true. Man. Um, 
so I studied graphic design because you know that was getting in with the the the, uh, um, the big ad agencies yeah, of the yeah. day okay, and, okay. and what have you. And then of yeah. course computers killed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, how's the so technology? I have to reinvent my world. I, I, I think I see. Um, oh, uh, uh, Gary, Gary, saying that his technology is not too bad. He's got all sorts of backgrounds. And no, I just see things here. flashing across. Yes, there. no, he's putting he's putting stuff on the screen, but we can change the background. You see ah. that? See that? <laughs> <laughs> we're we're green screen tonight, so we we can put up anything. <coughs> so welcome. I mean, this, yeah. this stuff is so detailed, Derek. It's it's, mm. it's amazing. It must take you a long time to do these things. Yeah, but you get lost in your own world. Eh? And you, yeah. Um, Is it like a story? It's, like it's you wonderful. Go People pay me for it. Do, do, do you have... Do you, uh, tell us a little bit about the process in, in going, in going to, to do something like this. I mean, it's such a massive thing. Okay, these... these yeah. <laughs> You know, um, like, like, especially that Port Elizabeth one you had, had earlier, where, where you do a whole lot of different things. Do you actually sort of jot them down beforehand? No, years beforehand, I had to or get maps. Start? I had to get maps of the place. I had okay. to go out and talk to the people, get, uh, find out exactly what the, uh, and the brief is so important. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, of course. Um, it's exactly what they want. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, drawing. I had to draw every single building. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, that and was in the port. It's so, uh, um, and by the way, I think that job was done through Narina Sky. Oh, oh Narina, so uh, Reza's Reza's mom. Yes, um, Reza's mom. Yeah, she, I mean, she just passed away recently yes, from COVID. And, as and well, yeah. uh, she got me that job. Wow. And uh, and so I, uh, I thought about her when I, I saw mean, that picture. This is insane. I, it's just, and do you, do you just dive into it? Do you start? Yeah, do no, you that's, start drawing? You know, I just thought to make a nice puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Um, <laughs> but also, you know, just take it. I just the thought Battle of Cressy. The Battle of Cressy. Uh, there's Poitiers, Agincourt. Um, yeah. You know, just having. Yeah, I see. Yeah, you know, what about the guys on the gr- the guys that are on the ground? They even quit shoving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like you think, think um, what, what could actually or, happen or in the golf. Battle. I mean, one of my last golf as yeah. well. <laughs> Barney's Tavern, I see here as well. Yeah. Human, human Golf Club, the beer tubes, I see. Well, this was golf. done, I think that was done for, for, yeah, it was the Barney's Golf Day. Okay. Um, and I think it was another one I did with Save the Rhino as well. Yeah. Um, okay, I see Adam mm. Whitfield saying he had some of the best family cards ever made by Derek. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you do your family cards? It's just family cards. It's for your family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, Adam, Adam's my, my nephew. Very proud of him. Oh, he, he, he runs a game farm. Oh, nice. Yeah, Madikwa, Royal Madikwa. Nice. Well, I hope he's paid you back by inviting well, you out. I have him. been given an invite, so I'm, I'm looking forward to going there because <laughs> um, it is a prestige yeah. Uh, uh, um, a place, yes. Operation. Oh, yeah. very nice. Yeah. And, uh, see, and, and then the portraits, you know, we do a lot of portraits. Yes, this is a portrait here. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, this, uh, yeah. Where there's teachers or... Yes. The Hill, Hill College, College, by the way, it's where I matriculated. Oh, so. right. All right. So, old, an old boy. I'm an old boy. Is it? <laughs> no, we'll get back to your history now. But I mean, I'm just saying, like, like mm. do you start drawing straight away? Do you use any tech now? Any... any, any yeah, it's called panic. <laughs> so, I mean, it, is it still like pen to paper? Yes. And painting yeah. and yeah. drawing charcoal. What, how, what is uh, it? Everything I do is in in uh, by hand. You start with pencil. Do you start with thing. Uh, what are the mediums you use? Oh, it depends who I'm working with. But I mean, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. So I start with the pencils and. So I get put, I put the rough idea down. Client approves it. Okay. Go okay. to ink. They're happy. Go to color. They make their changes. And I mean, this is amazing. The, 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 I mean, the, the people's yeah. faces. You, you've got to know how to how to paint. What, what makes one face different from the next? Because well, the, the <laughs> nice thing, the nice thing is that the, the clients are, are so great because they tell me, um, this guy does that, and yes. this guy does this, and, and so I try and put that into the picture. Um, so way. it's drawing. So I see the calculator there yeah, yeah. and the golf club there. And, yeah. Oh my word! Who yeah, is or that? whether it's a fortieth or fiftieth or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Who is that? 
I have no idea. <laughs> I didn't. It's a guy. It's a person. And I don't think you'd want me to name him anyway. Tour, tour de vino. I see. I, I love it. And, and so, so you take all that information and you just include it in the in the drawing and, and draw, start draw a picture, yeah. physical stuff. I mean, that's like that's that's fantastic because it's like what you do. Yeah, but but it's also it's, it's back something funny of what you got. And, and do, do you think that it's a dying thing, or do you think I mean art in general? Uh, um, because there's so much digital out there now. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it is. Eh? I don't know because I, way, I can say I mean, that sort of about I music mean, is that that the musos. The pianists, the guitar players, the you yeah, know, it's all the same you, thing. You know, the computers killed a lot of stuff. Eh? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, th- that natural kind of thing. That 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 pen. That 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 pencil to no, the paper. I mean, you can. I mean, you can download anything you like off yeah. off the internet. You can. It's true. You know, it's true. You know, a picture of this, download it. But then, yeah. then maybe it, perhaps what I'm hoping is that look at the, is that the dolphin area. <laughs> oh yeah, that was is that's that, an old one. Uh, she was here. Well, I wonder if it's still there. <laughs> the dolphin area, I don't think so. Well, yeah. Is this East London's one? Now? No, this is for PE. The PE yeah. one as well. PE, yeah. yeah, no, no, they didn't. Uh, people started not liking that after mm. a while. It became a bit politically incorrect. You yeah, know? I think that's uh, probably about twenty years old. That one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, that Dolly and Dimple. Yeah, they were. Yeah. I yeah. think at that time, I think they were in in the east now having a holiday. Yeah. Okay, they went to a farm. I don't know, I don't know they <laughs> went to the farm. We don't know where they went to. But um, so, so we got, uh, I see, these are for the pubs. Mm. Tell me about the, tell me about the pub story. That was, that was something you did quite early on. Well, yeah, um, gosh, from, I think 1983. Yeah. Yeah, that's early. Um, Village green days. No, well, it was before chalkboards were even in South Africa. Yeah, okay, wow. So, um, sort in, in Bath. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, were, were you? Yeah, I so was you on my honeymoon. Oh, yeah, oh, really? <laughs> and saw a girl drawing a chalkboard, and I said, look, hey, I, I can do this. And yeah. she said, well, come and help me. And so, my new wife and my mother and... Um, shoved off and went to see the sites while I sat and drew, drew chalkboards all day. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I mean, but, so was that the first time that you decided you, you were going to yeah, do something? Yeah, like no, that? I just quite liked what they did and then I came back to South Africa and then it just happened that Dean Foster yeah. um, started at the same time. Who's Dean? Who's Dean? He fostered the, the King and Fox oh, okay. chalkboards. He, I think he did ah, Comrades Marathon. Okay. Um, so it was obviously a thing that was starting. Uh, you know, so uh, I sort of started in his shadow yeah, at the time, yeah. and um, I did the Kegan, Kegan Swan, Kegan Frog, Fox, Kegan Fox, Kegan Frog, Kegan Frog. 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 Where was at, at Atrium? Atrium, yes, gee was Kegan Frog. Yeah, Johannes, and I still do them today. Johannes is saying there the pride of PE. <laughs> so I Thanks, Johannes. <laughs> <laughs> You're a biscuit, but. Giving the Herald some new life. Yes, we hope so. <laughs> snicker. What's snicker? Snicker. Snicker. It's got a new meaning. Snicker has got a snigger. new meaning. Snigger. Oh, Snig- right. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What's your snicker? It sounds like a chocolate. Sn- <laughs> My false teeth have got renewed sound. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I love Snickers. Huh? Oh, I love it. I love oh, them as well. Man. I do enjoy them. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if that was the one he was talking about. <laughs> I see these ones are coming up in, in, in the background here. And, and um, Look, I do, about, I do about 200 portraits a year. Wow. So um, That is a lot. Yeah. And, and, and the time that it takes you? Depends. Eh? I mean, probably three days, two days. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. I've done them in a day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, if, if emergencies, you yeah. know, I do the, a lot yeah. of the corporates. So. Sit through the night. So, Finish you it know, off. if, if um, Volkswagen or, or Spa, who yeah. are one of my old yes. um, clients, uh, demand it. Um, Got to do it. You burn that midnight oil. Yeah. That's part of the job. You know? Pressure. We were talking about beforehand, yeah. we were yeah. talking about the pressure. And, and uh, so you, you don't find that it... It, it influences the work at all. I mean, no. you, you're used to it. Uh, look, if it takes me all night, I'll yeah. make sure the job's done okay. to what the client... And I've always had a, a policy is if the client doesn't want it, I'll have charge it. Really? Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's a, a difficult one because you spend a long time. 
Yeah, but they can it, be picky. But it's about it's their expectations. I mean, it's yeah. it's what they want, you know. And sometimes you you're either good enough to do the job or you're not. Do they sometimes yeah. try and interfere all the time? Oh, I think you should have this and no, this. And no, this. no, no, wonderful clients. Eh? Yeah, uh, good. And, and 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 by the way, I'm very proud to say. I mean, I've had customers uh, thirty years. Yeah. Old, wow. Know. Um, and my oldest client is, is South African Labour Law Reports. Oh, really? Uh, what uh, what you know, they do? Brian from Zale. Okay, okay. And um, very proud of that relationship yeah. because his far, I used to work at PEP in management. <laughs> really? Okay. In the 80s. And his father was my regional manager. Mm. And I, I got to know him then. Okay, okay. And we are still, he's still my client today. Gee was that's and amazing. It's a South African label law reports. That's consistency though. Like, like the, the fact yeah. that you keep at it. And I, and I, I mean. But it's also keeping your clients. Yeah, 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 for know? sure. And, and I too, I mean, I did art and then I had to go back and study marketing. Okay. Um, so to you understand this and to know that, you know, it's about the client expectations, not yeah. about just, and a lot of people, I get surprised and I say to them, no, I draw until the job's done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the way you want it. Yeah. Yeah, it's yours. I mean it's yeah. and, and it, that's that's hard work. I mean yeah. uh, but let's let's go back let's go back to here because I we we are missing out stuff here now. And uh, yeah, but I don't born and bred P E? No, Joe Berg. Oh Joe Berg. Okay. Okay. Um yeah. moved here when I was about four, I think. Okay. Mm. So pretty much P E born and bred. But I'm uh, well, not born and bred, but but bred certainly, and definitely uh, bred. And um, uh, at schools, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Where were you at school? Where yeah, was your we'll school? Pick one. <laughs> People, uh, there were a lot of them. Was it a lot? <coughs> Let's see now. Um, ADD. Were you ADD? Well, look, I wasn't well loved by schools. Uh, I started at VP. Okay, VP Gray. No, VP, no, oh, oh yeah, no, school. okay, I started at, you want to go primary yeah, school? Yeah, primary school. God. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't want to leave anyone out. <laughs> okay. That's <laughs> fine. Okay, so I started at Warmer Primary. Okay. In those days. Warmer, I mean, yeah, settlers, Parker, settlers. Settlers. But it's now, it was Warmer Primary Four days in road. those days. Um, Fort Ash Road, 4th Avenue. Then my parents moved to the other side of, um, yeah. what do you call it, what is it, 6th Avenue? Six, uh, yeah, yes, it's Warmer. Yeah, so, Warmer. so it's, you know, crossing that main road. Yes, yes. So they moved to the other side, then we went to Clarendon Park. Ah, Clary's, there we go, just up the road. Um, then they moved back to the other side of the road, not our okay. fault, yes. yes. <laughs> Because you had to be zoned in those days. And we went back to Warmer Primary, okay. and that's where I, I finished down at five at, 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 at Warmer okay, Primary. Okay, Warmer yeah. Primary. I see you've got my name over here. Gino. There's Gino. Says over Ach, there. no, man. Did I? <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, my word. Oh, there's your... There's, yeah. there's the, yeah. the chappy there. From Hill College. Um, so, so okay. So then, did, did you already have a bit of a knack for oh. drawing and... From, um, well, my dad, you you know, my dad was an artist. Of course, Anton Esmond. And so I sort of remember uh, as a kid him painting yeah. and me sitting on the ground. Okay, checking it out. Drawing, yeah. Yeah. And for that I was never wanting. I always got great yeah, okay. sketchbooks. Yes, the paper and the, the yeah, stuff. I mean, it's yeah. that. Uh, when you when you when you're writing on good paper, it is it is amazing. When drawing on good tools, paper. tools make it for man. Eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and of course, my nono came out with with the Adamas Paper Factory. You know, from Fedogoni. he was a he was a paper guy. Oh, okay, loved that. Good. And my mother used to make her own paper as well. I just loved it. It's the, I, the texture. I loved it. The, texture eh? But I always remember the great. I mean, to me, it was a great joy. Yeah. And my dad was um, well. We came through to PE uh, um, for my dad to take over as the head of Kate Art uh -huh. Department. Okay, yes, yes. And so I used to get such really nice sketchbooks oh. and materials and 
lovely. And, and, uh, yeah, I and, I, and I think, yeah, that, that makes a difference. It helps you. Yeah, it does. But I've always had the imagination. I've always okay. wanted to draw. I've always wanted to um, do this yeah. for a living. Yeah, yeah. And so you just knew. I mean, did you, did you know that already? From day dot. Is it? <laughs> I knew. Because, I mean, I, you know, you want to be a fireman or you want to be no. a... Yeah, always like knew. If you don't, uh, but in those days, it was commercial artists. So if anybody asked me, yeah. I'd say, no, I want to be a commercial artist. Ah, of course. There's no, like, <laughs> I, want, I wanted to have a music shop. Yes. You know, yeah, because, yeah. yeah, obviously. But so, I always wanted to draw. Says, how's it? Uh, no, uh, that was a picture I did. Palm Beach. No, it's a, the new regime. I knew There's a lot in that. Oh, yeah. uh, um, I don't know. I'm talking about the, the comment there at the, oh, the bottom. He says he did something for him for Palm Beach. But this is... Just, so, okay. Thanks, mate. That's so Socrates. Socrates. Thanks, Socrates mate. Socrates is, is the dude. Uh, we, we, oh. we used to play with play there as well. Evan and Child mm. used to play down the Palm Beach. Oh, these are guys that are part of PE's Flat culture. Rock. Flat Rock Roadhouse. Yeah. yeah. Uh, see, yeah. Mike's portrait was done 24 years ago. It looks stunning perfectly still. That's Mike. There we go. That's oh, Mike yeah. Nichols. All right. And um, and uh, uh, love your pictures up in our home, the scenes of PE where we, where we left. So that's also it's nice oh, for her yeah. as well to to them see PE. Well, uh, it's, uh, I suppose it's about. Um, hey, girl. They're over. They're over in England, I think. As uh, she said. Um, hey, Marky, how's it going, China? <laughs> Second hand uh, VHS. Oh yeah, no, you know what? Trade swaps. No, he's he's, he's been greater uh, from. From Mark. early days, we, we we know each other going back to the Ronda Pesto. <laughs> He's as old as the Ronda Pesto. Uh, and old Yana sir. There we go. Yana uh, says, "Poiki Costa Yoga." <laughs> Say hi to a high pitched increased well, increasing octane high Derek. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, mm. Fiona Drake. Hello, Fiona. Nice yeah, to see you. How's it well. going? I know Fiona too. The hockey. Yeah. The hockey yeah, stuff we had. You know, old, we had a hell of a hockey, old legend there, eh? a hockey mm. thing. Oh, go back to the school story. Philippa wants to know about the school story. So, yeah, yes, you, you were at school, uh, oh, Clarendon. Oh, you being you got to remind me. Get, I get reminded by my wife when she, even when she's not here in person. Uh, okay, <laughs> she wants to know because she's a teacher. You see, oh, right. yeah, no, I wasn't well loved. Eh? You went so you, you battled it with school. This, uh, too many no, I, I think schools battled with me. I, yeah. I don't think. I, I quite have a good time. I mean, yeah. it's just... Didn't want to fit in that box. I think that if, you, if you're blessed with a sense of humour, <laughs> you're always the naughty bastard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? no, I get it. Um, <laughs> and it's not just school. I mean, it's army. It's... Yeah. It goes through. So... That discipline thing. You weren't good with that. It's not just that. It's just... You know, we... I think that's the area we were brought up in. I mean, mm. it was, um, you know, if you had anything different, you were uh, just a naughty bastard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't so, turn the line. But also, yeah, no, um, broken home syndrome. We, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, uh, I was at VP, quite very happy there, yes. by the way. Okay. Um, VP was good. I enjoyed VP as well. Mm. And then got asked to leave and oh. <laughs> how were you smoking in the toilets no, 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 no anyway <laughs> don't go into that a lot of my uh, a lot of my people that have been on my show have actually been to jail so you're doing well so far <laughs> <That's why. laughs> um then um went to dale college oh okay absolutely loved dale college oh really okay wow i was a boarder yes but um yeah and i bunked out to a few parties and yeah life wasn't great for the got asked okay. to leave there all oh, right as well <laughs> bunked out <laughs> and then went to Muir, Muir College, Muir College. Mm. so you really did do the, then, do the rounds unfortunately got asked to leave there as well oh, <laughs> and and ended up at Hill School and and was uh, yeah I was happy yeah. finished off there oh. I just saw Philip was asking the, the, um, what do you do if you love art and are good at the subject but you don't get on with the art teacher what yeah, about no, them? tough, tough call there. Yeah. <laughs> Generally, art teachers because, are I mean, so I, nice. I, 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 I don't know. I, yeah. I, I, did you get on with you? Did you do didn't art? Do art. You didn't do art. No. Oh my soul! I suppose in those days as well, it was also like, you know, I always drew. Okay. And 
Um, but I did do, when I went to Hill School, I did matric art. Yeah. And, but I also wrote my first year Technicon. Okay. In the same year. Wow. Okay, wow. And I think I only got that because of my father. Okay, yes, <laughs> yes, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. But however, I finished that, um, went to army for two years. Oh, wow, yeah. You had to and when that. I came back, I had to start Technicon all over again. Because that was 83, so that's 82. No, uh, uh, no, I finished army in 81. Oh, 81, okay, okay, mm. okay. And so I did my first year. Okay. In 82. Eighty, yeah, eighty-one. Now oh, that was yeah. a very good years. Those were good years for music. Uh, when, uh, Gary wants to know what, what uh, why you were asked to leave the schools, Bunky. No, no, yeah. just I was misunderstood. Eh? Yes, it was, it was, yeah, just, no, no, just, no, no. There's more detail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we want some meat, yak. Oh, yeah. Um, Give us one example. I think, I think VP <laughs> was because I had a fight with an exchange student from oh, Czechoslovakia. Okay, so were you a bit hot tempered? No, he picked on me. Oh, okay. Exchange student from where? Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. That is Czechoslovakians. Mm. They can be quite hot tempered. No, 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 it was. It was. Anyway, I was just. Um, then Dale was uh, for banking out to okay. a party. Yeah, right. and I think Clifford, Clem and the boys Cliffy <laughs> We're in the same gang Same yes. Clemens They also get um, fired Yeah we were all in the same gang oh, <laughs> So um, Got busted at a party Okay um, <laughs> Then They were quite strict back then as well So you didn't yeah, have to no, do much but, No jeez <laughs> I've had my head knocked a bit the against the stories Because it's not common. <laughs> <laughs> so many stories. You've got a lot of stories here. We can actually... Yeah, I, think I, was, I think I was a nightmare to my parents. But <laughs> also, it's your sense of humor. Yeah. Um, and and you know, I'm, I'm glad I never lo lost that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I think you need that to survive, no matter what. Uh, He's touch to skirting the question. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> By the way, you spelled totes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I get that if you mm. don't fit in that box, especially in those days, uh, you know, there was a, all, it was all about the discipline. You know, you know, when you're in army in the basics, yeah, or did you go? I didn't, I didn't okay, go so to basics, but but then you in the army and you standing in a whole crowd at five o'clock in the morning, yeah, I went to a couple of camps, and, so and I didn't get that. Yeah. And the corporal said, the next person that opens his mouth, <laughs> oh, and I you have were that to, guy. You I were have that to. guy. It's, 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 the corporal! It's, <laughs> you have to. It's, yes. it's part of you. And I, I mean, there's guys out there that from the army, my sergeants or whatever, okay. that um, still... All right. Uh, uh, not everything well, has to be a joke, Nes, but... It's not it's about a, being a joke. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 being, it's about not being able to keep your mouth shut. Yes, at the right time. Should. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I totally get it. I do, I do. I've, I've been in that boat. And I think another, another a victim of those things was Wayne Callis. <laughs> Wayne Callis cannot stop himself. <laughs> it's about putting your foot in your mouth on a regular basis. Yes, I think so. I think so. Okay, so, so but all this time you were drawing, but you were do, doing your own thing. You weren't you weren't going the school route at at, at high school, so yeah. you, you didn't do art. No, you taught I, I, mean, I spent my life. Yeah, uh, no, I mean I did. Um, I did. I went to technical. Te technical after school, though. But but no, until until that point, you were you were self taught. Did did you did you go and uh, you went straight into the army after after Hill then? Yes. And then when you go came back from the army, that's when you went to tech. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. So then, then you really sort of decided to do it seriously. Was, was it a moment when you thought, okay, I'm going to make this. This is going to be my job. Funny enough, no. Um. Uh. In, in the army, I was a medic. Ah. Oh, okay. I would have passed that all and, the time. <laughs> and and so spending time in border and Angola and yeah. whatever. Did you get some? It was quite hectic. Yeah, and uh, Man. but doing that and being a medic, 
Yeah. And being able to help people. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when I came back, I thought, I want to be a doctor. I actually want to be a doctor. Doctor. <laughs> but I had the absolute wrong um, uh, uh, subjects. Um, subjects. Yes. And what have you. And we. Wow. Uh, we investigated it at the time. It was. And yeah. so I just followed what. And Gee, I, I'm so actually really glad I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I don't know. You know, doctors. I just love helping people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's part of my nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean that that's that's crazy. So, I mean, the the fact that you were a medic in the army was was uh, you know got you into that enough that you actually wanted to to make it a oh yeah to no, make it a thing no. And I mean, it's like, like I mean, being a medic as well on the border, you would have got all the worst case scenarios. I mean, surely. Well, we did Ops Protea. What's that? Which was well, it was a big operation into Angola in the eighties. Okay, okay. And so yeah, it was quite hectic. Okay. But also. I saw the best and the worst of people. Yeah. So you don't and suffer any of that P, P yeah. whatever, <laughs> post-traumatic stress. And look, I think everybody does to a certain extent. But yeah. the, uh, no, I mean, you, you know, uh, and those guys are friends today. Yeah. We're uh, still mates. Those you know, that band of brothers type thing. It's, yeah. it's, we mates today. Because, because the of Charlie Listers of the world and okay. the George Foremans and those guys. We're still mates. She was. Yeah. We might not see each other every yeah. day. But you get to know somebody, I think. Um, I mean, it's particularly my schoolmates as well. Mm. I mean, I, 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 you skipped schools a, a lot, skipped around a bit. But mm. those guys, at, at at that young time in your life, you, you get to know that person in a, in a it, for me, a deeper way. You, you know what they like, you know, going You, you get to know their souls. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, they um, gosh, I mean, I can remember... The guys I climbed on the train with to go to basics. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I can remember those guys. Because you're all in a stress situation yeah. as well, you know. Yeah, but you, you remember that it's not, it's controlled stress. There's a schoolmate of yours, Paul Wild. Hey, Paul, <laughs> how's it going, eh? Yeah, you was at Muir with me, eh? Okay. Yeah, yeah. From the Hague. Gosh, from the you're Hague. still alive, eh? <laughs> you know what they say? What did you, you know you come from the Hague? Hey, Wendy, how's it going? Diane Smith. Ah, there we Diane go. Diane Smith says amazing Ooh. art with lovely art. Well, she yeah. should say that because that's my son's girlfriend. Oh, there we go. go. The mother-in-law. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Jeff, Jeff, how's Jeff, it going, mate? Jeff, i just up the road as well. Yeah. Awesome art. How's it going, mate? And a gift to give the person who has everything a Derek portrait. You're quite <laughs> right. You're quite right. And I know you did one for, for the school, for Philippa's school as well, which was amazing. Uh, hey, Wendy, how's it going? Wendy Swinnell. <laughs> Not so blah, brownly Victorian. Oh, dear. It's fine. He's okay. Nah, but you know what? They, uh, VP is a school that still owned me afterwards. Eh? Okay. So mm. enjoyed mm. it still. Yeah. And, and also I played... Um, for the old boys versus oh. the youngsters in hockey, and, <laughs> really? you know, so I've been part of the, and the one thing about them is they've always kept in touch. Yeah, you know, they've always yes. kept in touch. But it's your friend in the end, it's not so much even the teachers and the, and the, and the school, it's your, it's your friends that you gain there, you know? Well, yes, yeah. Um, yeah. and you make all these friends going through life, it's brilliant, I mean, you yeah. I'm getting I'm getting sound here coming through somewhere. somewhere. I hope you guys aren't hearing that. I don't know. Uh, what's going on. He was saying, pour another drink. Oh, uh, pour another drink. Mm. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do another one. We've got we got some punters here. Thanks, Keith. And um, Keith, you're legend there. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> Keith Clark. <laughs> I'm doing some stones tonight, and he likes some stones as well. Wendy, uh, I, I see Wendy. Uh, where, where do you know? Do you know Wendy from somewhere? Where, where's Wendy from? Where are you from, Wendy? Well, clearly Victoria Park. Victoria Park side. There we go. There we go. There's the, there's the 15th anniversary. That's it. Our story. 15th Oh, that year. was the one that I did for That's uh, what, for, for Elson Academy. And look, I mean, you've got yeah. the building. You've got everybody's faces in there. You've got, I mean, it's, it's a whole story. Look, I do a lot of that. Eh? It's amazing. Yeah. It's really amazing. It's, it's, it's really cool because for a brief moment in time, you... You part of that? Yeah, you get to know everybody there oh, as well. It is oh. true. It is a, it's a like you say. You, you enjoy helping people, and this and this does as well. You get you get involved. No, you do, and you get you get to know their business and their yeah. And how and things I, work. Guess what? I mean, I get to go walk through Volkswagen or whatever it is, and I see how their operation works. Yeah. Or 
Eberspacher or any of that crowd. Yeah, yeah. And not many people get that. Yeah. I, I, yeah. You know, you get it as a muser as well. As yeah. A, if, yeah. if I'm it's the MC. Just, just for being a... able to play. But I, I mean, I really get to go through. Mm. And, and this guy does that. This guy yeah. does that. Yes. This guy. And get to know those people. Yeah. And that's brilliant. It's part of... It's a good network to have. Well. I mean, and, and, and your business is also about networking, isn't it? Oh, big time. Yeah. Yeah, big time. So it's, it's, you, you get to know those clients. Yeah, it's point just being able to draw if you can't sell yourself. Yeah. yeah. So you did marketing as well, you said. You have to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, look, I study marketing as well. Okay, okay. And by the way, I got a certificate in salesmanship. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, a certificate, eh? Hey, um. <laughs> Very nice indeed. No, but you, it, it, I mean, it's obviously it is a is a good thing to have, especially as an artist, because um, listening all the way here there in the UK, Tanya Lennon. That's, hey, Tanya, that's how's it going? Eh? John's illegitimate daughter. <laughs> okay, Gary. Gary Whitfield. Yeah, no. Bo my, Derek. <laughs> yeah, no, that, Bo is my nickname. Oh, oh, really? Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was Blue Lagoon or something, wasn't it? No, no, what no. It? it was... Uh, it was a movie. It goes ten. back to... Ten. ten. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah Perfect yeah, ten. ten. Perfect Ten. And but so, then it was also Blue Lagoon, I think, wasn't it? No. Uh, um, where I got that name... Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. ...was uh, when we were young. We played Premier League hockey. Oh. And uh, the coach... Yeah. I think it was Ronnie Colling. Okay. At the beginning of the season, said, Norman's dad said to, I think so, yeah. Anyway, said yeah. to uh, the team, all right, strikers, how many how many goals are you going to score this season? And I think they said fifty. Yeah. And they said, <laughs> right, goalkeeper, which I am. Okay. How many goals are you going to let in? Yeah. So I said, not more than ten. <laughs> all right. So at the end of the season. At Old Grey, yeah. prize giving. Uh, they said it right. What a great goalkeeper, <laughs> Marcus. Hey, Marcus, I was trying to, <laughs> He said, they said, right, uh, um, goals scored yeah. 76. <laughs> right. So they got more than 50. Mm-hmm. Goals against Derek Nesbitt, Bo Nesbitt, a perfect 10. <laughs> so that's and why. that, of course, hockey guys just yes. boom. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's and so true. that name stuck with me all these years. And and then even my son, yeah, who played Premier League and provincial hockey as a goalkeeper, they they call him Bo. Bo as well. He takes <laughs> on the name, so the names carry on. Yeah, it's amazing yeah. how nicknames yeah. work like that. They just yeah. carry on and they go. They they yeah. get passed down yeah. like, a, like an heirloom. <laughs> cheers, <laughs> cheers. You know, so. Uh, and, and uh, I mean, I know Philip is on about the uh, about the school stuff. Us, Alan, Alan Falky, is it Falky? Werner Lemmer. Yeah, you know a soccer. Yes, and and Werner and me are still mates today. He owns Rock. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but uh, this this guy can build anything. Eh? Is it? Uh, is uh, a, he's a genius. It's is a is no. okay. At, at but also he's he's like me. He met his love and 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 they still together. And she was yeah, brilliant. Yeah. So um, uh, oh, Keith Miller. Ah, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> when you visiting me, <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Yeah. You must see this guy's photographs from all yeah. over South Africa. Oh wow, photographer. Oh, huge. Who's your love? My wife. Your what's your wife's name? Minette. Minette. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Mm. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was Gary. Gary was asking there, "What's going on?" Hello, Janice. Yeah. The Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, Janice. Yes. Janice. Uh, we, we we lived across the road from each other in Warmer. Oh, the Warmer. All, surf- all our surfing days in the seventies and what have you. Uh, she was part of that era. <laughs> okay. What's you from Scotland? And, and we're still friends. All right, Janice. And we're still friends today. Oh, you know? great. Yeah. Love it all the way oh, from Scotland. Love Nikki. Marty. Nikki Love more saying yeah. she loves her portrait. Did you do a yeah. nice, a nice portrait for Nikki? Yeah, okay. we need a uh, Jeff. We need a wee dram. I think is a good idea. Ah, I think yeah. so. A wee dram indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Moman saying, oh, "Hey, Rumi, there's my mate." Tour. What's the tour? Uh, uh, okay. 
Sees also, it's Corey. Oh, so when's our okay. next tour? Uh, 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 Rob uh, Striker. Yeah, okay, okay. And me. Uh, so you did hockey, yeah? Big time. Still. Um, I was captain of a team for nine years okay. that won the Premier League for nine years. Wow. And so like I, a professional I retired, I retired this this year okay. from Masters. Wow. Okay. So I was also um, captain of the smugglers side at Pirates. Oh, magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, you know, at 59, I think I've had a good day. <laughs> What's so the tour? A, a, a tour. A tour. So okay. that's our golf tour. All right. But we call it the Nature's Valley Golf Tour. Tour. But the, but the guy <laughs> tell you what it is. And you only get onto the store yeah, yeah. by invitation. Okay. <laughs> All right. How's it, Corey from the USA? Yes. Now, Corey uh, was, believe it or not, when I was a child, uh, my babysitter. Ah, and Jungschlager. I, that means babysitter in German. And, and, uh, yes. Actually, and his doesn't. dad <laughs> and my mom were really great friends. Oh, wow. Um, and so, yeah, hi, hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> he used to change his nappies. Yeah. Oh, there's Cliffy. Cliffy Ferreira. Okay. So how's it? Yeah. He's one of my oldest friends. Okay. Old okay. Cliffy. Oh, yeah. nice. And we got, he's, he's, he lives, he's living in St. Francis, I think, at the moment. Beautiful. So I've oh. got to drag him down to PE, have a game of golf and a, a few drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. You've got to try some of my coffee there as well then, Cliffy. It's in the spa. Go no, and listen, check it out. Uh, I'm going home with it. Is it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> these, these, um, I, I, I find it fascinating that, that, that when you draw faces, that, that you get that character's face so perfectly. What, what, come on, tell us a secret. Tell us behind the scenes secret. How do you, how, when you look at a face, what do you look at? Yeah, it's very those? difficult, eh? Huh? I mean, it's panic. It's <laughs> just panic. Is it just more and more detail? How do you no, do it? I really don't know. I mean, you know, I've always looked at guys like Sapiro and yeah. thought, how the hell does he do it? <laughs> um, but you but do look, it. I mean, look at, look at Dr. Jack. Yeah. And, and those guys, and you think, wow, I mean, how do you do it? <laughs> you know, so I just do the best I can. Um, but it's, it's like drums. I mean, I play drums. Okay. Yeah. I look at guys playing drums and, and sometimes I think, Oh my soul! How well, like Def Leppard with one hand. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, uh, people look at me mm. and say, "Oh, oh yeah, this, that's mm. a good drummer." But there's always a, there's always a level up. There's always, I mean, it's always that level up. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you, you know, you, uh, it's fifty. I always say to my, my butt says, "Oh, who are you going on the show? You, yeah, you, you, <laughs> you famous." I yeah. say, "That's fifteen minutes." Yeah. <laughs> 15 minutes of fame it says uh, remember your cartoons from here <coughs> hey Shane no, Shane and me go back to school days oh, Shane Dodds yeah. wow wow yeah. Shane and Quentin, and Quentin oh, one of my dear friends <laughs> of, um, we were at Muir together ok also and work funny fun, funny Hague we, yeah, from the Hague I always remember Quentin he, He's, a, he's an airline pilot now. Oh, lives, uh, lives nice. in Nasna, I think. Do you, have you still got fur on your dashboard on the on the planes? No, uh, it's Quentin. just a hobby for us. Oh <laughs> 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 uh, no! Pit, pity you can't uh, draw a quick pick. Draw a quick. Pick. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're hey, not working tonight. Who's paying? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's Maybe I should have before I started. Yeah, no, you should have done well, something for Gino Spot. We'll, 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 we'll commission one. We'll, we'll, no, you don't commission. Mm -hmm. We talk. We talk. Mm. We talk. <laughs> I'll swap you out some coffee. <laughs> oh, no. But it's, uh, it's crazy. Uh, love your work, Derek. If only your golf was as good as your art. Smiler. <laughs> Smiler's okay, well, well, I wouldn't trust anybody called Smiler. Yeah, no, we know Smiler. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. Hog and English uh, bunch. I'm surprised he didn't follow you to all the different schools as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So, okay, let's let's have a look. Um, I've, we've got a, we've got a couple of quick questions here okay. that I always go through as well. So, uh, first of all, the general stuff, the getting to know you section. Get let's have a look. At. All right, the next no question your biggest accomplishment in your career this far. Okay, but, but not your wife or your children. No, nah, not your children, your wife is a boring point. It hasn't happened yet. 
It hasn't happened. You're still waiting for it. Mm. So, I mean, you're not going to set the bar low. Like, uh, it's, it's, right, it's, it's do it for you, the Herald is a big one. You know, I'd say. That's a, no, it's a, also, it's a level up. It's, no, hey, I love them to bits, eh? But yeah. It's a job. Who says? I say. No. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's perceptions, Derek. It's no, perceptions. No, yeah, what, do you, what have you achieved in life? Yeah. What is your greatest? No, I don't know. I mean, uh, what you uh, what you do is, is is the wow. It's got the wow factor. Okay, I think. I mean, we talk about this with with the music with Gary as well with with Center Stage Productions. If somebody's got that wow factor, the the, the when you look at this, you say, "She was that's bloody good." Did you do that yourself? <laughs> you know. And well, when you say amazing. when you say, "Well, you know, did I do that?" Yeah. No, no, no. I don't have that. I don't, it's, it's not something I'm... The wow factor is most certainly there. You know, I, I, I mean, I, I, I either do a job and I, I think, okay, I did a good job. Yeah, well... Or I, mean, I think, oh God, I hope they pay me quickly. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the, that's the marketing part, yeah. the business part. There so is I a, don't know, I mean, uh, uh, what, my biggest accomplishment is, is being stable. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I, I, I totally agree. Uh, yeah. it's, it's saying um, uh, Janita saying uh, Alexander saying that you're a fantastic dress. Look at the chalkboard for the coffee shop. Uh, yes, in in Tring in the in the UK. Tring. Oh really? Oh no mm, ways. Okay, in the, UK. the UK as well. Yeah. You got people from all over the world coming in well, tonight. Well, I mean, I've travelled. Eh? Okay, what is welcomento? Uh, welcome. Well, Welcome I mean, to. Uh, <laughs> I think it's maybe Italian. You're looking now. the wrong way. Hey, you're looking okay. the wrong way. <laughs> Welcome to SJM Night Shift. And all those, all these buildings. Do you, do you, do you get photographs of the places and and then? No, that, study that them was done. Way? I think that was done in the um, on the walls and what have you. Oh, okay, that's a, a painting I did. A painting as well. Yeah. So you do you you paint as well? Yes. That looks. Is that is that PE? No, it's the UK. I took a is photograph and then I painted the picture. Okay. Yeah, in a oh, That's, that's um, bloody nice. Oh, tell you what, have you have you have you, have you, uh, have you gone into that? I do paint as well. Yeah, yeah, all the time. Yeah. Oh, good. No. Good, because uh, and, and have you have you what about oh, exhibitions? Yes, yes. What about exhibitions? No, uh, I haven't, haven't got done. the confidence. <laughs> I am going to get you to do an exhibition. You no, need but, to do an but exhibition. But also, in order to have an exhibition, yeah, you have to have the time to paint. Well, and you can I, do your cartoon stuff as well. I mean, that's I, 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 I don't see why not. Uh, that's uh, and I know just the place I've got um, uh, um, the the guys at the at the GFI gallery have been onto me about doing a show there as well. You mm. know. So I think we should well, do something you. there. We'll do well, it. Back. Do it, do I it. I like your idea. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. <laughs> Come on. I'll do my coffee at the same time or something. We'll do something at <coughs> the GFI gallery. It's, it's going to cost you a couple of packets before I leave. It's a, there we go. We'll organize. Um, but, but so what, know, what made you get into that coffee? Mm. Because... No, the coffee has always been a lot. Because, I mean, thing. I did... You know, we had a coffee thing. Yeah. Uh, called Sons of Amazon. Oh, yeah. Which yeah. is a, a, a mate of mine that lives in Scotland. Okay. And and the coffee is called Sons of Amazon. It's actually yeah. brilliant coffee. Brazilian. And we actually did coffee tastings and all sorts of oh, stuff. Oh, lovely! And but that, you, you know, I lost, I lost a small fortune bringing in yeah. a container. <laughs> so I was just wondering. No, it's, uh, it's Alan a tough, Stapleton will tell you. It's, about a, it's a tough <laughs> business. It is a tough business. <laughs> Let me tell you, I, I, yeah. I, I get that. But I'm starting Ooh. small. I'm sorry, small, and I'm mm. going, uh, going a little bit. But do you have any hobbies like that? Do you have any other stuff outside the arts? Stuff? Do you collect things? Yeah, or uh, uh, you're a hoarder. Mm. Okay, but listen, is my wife watching? Oh, uh, <laughs> Minette, please put in some comments. We need some info on this, some dirt. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm a sort of amateur historian, mm. but uh, I collect military. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, Military stuff, medals, and no, 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 no. I've got um, bombs, swords, with, <laughs> yeah, a couple of claim. Anyway. Oh wow. <laughs> uh, um, but uh, uh, my great love is is leaden soldiers. Leaden soldiers. Yeah. There's not the tin ones. The 
Well, well, well Tun was part of that era. It was that era, that era. But, that's... Uh, but uh, wow. going back to so the, t- the hollow tin ones, I, I wouldn't turn down uh, yeah. on an auction. But uh, yeah, so I've, um, I used to have a, so, so when I was a kid, yeah, yeah. Um, I collected leaden soldiers. Tell us about what, what leaden is. I mean, it's like made. Lead. Made, made soldiers. Okay. Soldiers. So I had... Like the little plastic ones that you used to get. No, lead. But no, no, but I'm saying like actually Lumpers, made of leather. Yeah. But, but they're older. Clearly. Older. Good. So I started collecting probably from when I was about eight. Yeah, okay, wow. And I finally built up a collection of about 2,000... Good Lord! ...leaden soldiers, which would, by the way, would be worth... A small fortune. I'm right? sure. Um, and we had a break in. <clears throat> and the whole collection was stolen. What? Uh, while I was on bo- in boarding school. Oh, Lord Almighty. And so yeah. uh, I started all over again. again. And so I. Where do you find them? Man, I, Second hand travels? No. I've got um, pawn shops and. Antique yeah. dealers all over the world. They contact me when they get collections. Oh, wow. Them. So you just buy them, buy them mm. up. Well, that's amazing. I, I, I love that kind of thing. So you, 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 we, we disrupt you in your office and, you, and you're busy. Come on, keep the car, get you. Oh, no, no. So then I clean out my cabinet. Yes. And my wife, she says, hey, are you having fun with your toys? Yes. Yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> oh, just, we, just, we, we, we have a whiskey club and we were just there the other night. Well, Lee Petrie, Petrie used to be at uh, PwC. He collects the Hobbit and, and, and this Lord of the Rings stuff. Oh, and we I, were, I just bought one. Really? I'm going to use it for golf. T- no, uh, what's, that, what's that? Gollum. Gollum. <laughs> so I've just bought one oh, no way, because so. I made a, tra- a trophy for our golf tour. Okay. But these, sorry, all you guys, idiots, <laughs> they broke it. Oh, no, man. Yeah. So all my oh. hard work, what oh. did they do? Gary Whitfield, Amos, dropped it off his... Oh, Lord. Broke it. Now I bought a new one. <laughs> but I actually bought old Gollum. Okay. The model. Yes. My and I'm stick a golf club in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> and put a golf ball there, and that can be the n- new Lord of the Rings trophy. <laughs> oh, brilliant, brilliant, I love it. Because I, I, I mean, it, it, it all goes back to when you're when you're a little boy, a little, little guy, you know. Yeah. Dinky cars, matchbox cars, those sort of things. Love that stuff. But these kids nowadays don't have that. No, no, no. I think when the they when they're small, when they're really small, the they do. Joy of like the Hot Wheels things. They, they it's, yeah. that's new that, that thing, but. The, you know, you, you had those original vehicles, and and I'm sure the the motor manufacturers were like, uh, you know, giving them extra money to make their their but models. Remember that we didn't have cell phones and laptops and all that stuff. Yeah. And so, I was the little guy that sat there with all these soldiers, and they set them up and play them. I love them it. Up and had these battles and yeah. threw a couple of matches in and burnt half of them. <laughs> Of course, the lead ones weren't really safe either. No, no, hey, but the lead ones, I always knew. I, I was very lucky. Um, one of the lecturers yeah. at, at um, Technicon, yeah. uh, um, Hilary Graham, yes, yes. Was, was an avid collector. Oh, really? Okay. And he lived around the corner from us in Warman. Okay. And I, if you think about if you go back now, I mean, I used to go and knock on his door. And, <laughs> what a legend. And I mean, he, he must have sat there and looked at me and said, oh my God, you're twitty. <laughs> Jerry I mean, again. You know, and I said, can I play with your soldiers? <laughs> That's and so then, and, But he taught me how to mold soldiers and... Wow. And, and, oh, he's molded. And so, so much, yeah. So you actually make them, of I course, could, with lead. I, well, you can, I mean, I could take so you had, anything and mold it and... He had molds. I could make my own molds. Oh, that's amazing. No. Oh, so he made them me all that, yeah. Out of what blasted Paris or something? Yes. That is so I mean, cool. Cost lead. Oh my soul. Oh. That's like a totally a dying art. Mm. So now I have um I, I was in Harrow. Yeah. And one of the one of the toy stores were were shutting down. And I bought all their molds. <laughs> Classic. And I still have them in the cabinet. Wow. And so one of my 
one of these days I'm going to start casting. <laughs> <laughs> That's classic. Where, 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 are they like uh, um, but, but no, no, but, but the, the era is probably like uh, um, uh, Napoleonic yes. and, and, yeah, and that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, they're all cavalry. Yeah, because yeah. you know I've just I put up a couple of posts mm. because I, I I love history as well. I, mm. I'm sure you do as well. And the Sacramento, we went. I went for a walk the other day, and it got me thinking. The Sacramento was wrecked here, sixteen. 48? What, no, I think it was later, wasn't it? A little later, maybe a little later. Anyway, it was, no, it was 1648. It was before 1652 was when. Was it old, old deep purple? What, what, what was it? Jan van Riebeck came in 1652. Are you serious? No, 1648. The Sacramento. Yes, Sacramento. They were Portuguese ship, right? These guys were wrecked here. They walked to Maputo. Okay. From they, here? From here. 1,400 kilometers. I wanted to find out why the hell they walked to Maputo instead of going to Cape Town. No, well, the Edward was just up the hill. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't anything yet. <laughs> no, there was nothing yet. <laughs> but I mean, they would have found stuff if they'd just gone down that way towards the Cape. Yeah, but I then, suppose it was a different place. I mean, I tell you what I think it was is that Can Portugal. I yeah, that was lovely. I think Portugal and and um, and the Dutch, Portu Portugal and, and the Netherlands were at war. So I think that's why it was. Uh, that's why they went the other it's way. It's actually amazing. I mean, you hear so many stories. Um, the other one was the the guns at uh, Algar training base. Yeah. On the beachfront. Yeah. Yes. Those big yes. Guns. The, the big guns at the at the thing there. And the story that I heard. And I think it was through the historical society. Is they had these guns pointing out, but there was one gun at the back. Yes, yes. That used to point out towards um, a Skunmakos Corp. Okay. Okay. That could shoot all the way from there. Oh my soul! To oh, Skunmakos Corp. To <laughs> Yes. Jeez, like that's a you know, But then they took that one gun down. Okay. Now, um, I, I don't know if I'm. Um, it's hearsay, right? Yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah, it's, it's yeah. not historical fact, and yeah. I think Margaret Harris sure. or this stage or one of that crowd could, yes. could help us. But that gun was taken out. Okay. Now, now, if you go there, you'll see that the two, the two, two and there's one you know, without a gun on it. And 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 oh man, yeah. it would be such a great historical. Um, Place, place to be yes yes is except it, is it i not think there's old ammo underneath there which will blow yeah, probably <laughs> i see the sea scouts and that are, are often there no but you've got the uh, there's now a pub in the old watchtower okay wow okay um which uh, we've had a few drinks in which mm. is fantastic mm. then you've got the gun emplacement yeah and then underneath that gun emplacement there are tunnels wow now there's a story that that tunnel runs all the way to. We're talking about the beachfront here. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, right there on on the King's on, Beach. Yes. Yeah, jeez, like tunnels under there. Yeah, <laughs> that's so insane. It's there. So we, so we, I remember, gosh, uh, many years ago, yeah, because um, we were very worried about the condition of the the um, the Ford observation points. Yeah. Uh, um, Okay. Oh, 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 the the the, his, the ones with the, all yes, the yes, yes. Uh, it's, it's, it's Scunies Bay and, Scunies and Blue Water and, Bay. Yeah, those ones. Okay, yes, yeah. those are the Second World War. And these things, things. Are, are falling apart. Yeah. But but in terms of uh, um, of the of how they were built. Yeah. With their floating platforms and because they're built on sand dunes. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Okay. And nobody's kept these things up. They're concrete though. So the, look, the Satanists love it. Mm. And, <laughs> and you know, it's a nice place for somebody to Very sleep for the night. But nobody's <laughs> actually looked after these as historical. Yes. Yeah. And and they are. They're totally um, over sixty. And years so they're gone. Them. I mean, they will they will be gone. Yeah. In our lifetime. Well, um, I mean, they've they've made um, a solid um, uh, Cape Receive. Yeah. Uh, where the first coloured, I think it was the first coloured. Yeah. Um, uh, deployment was there, the, yeah, and and the wo women's aux auxiliary. Okay, also there, and and yeah. there's a very really interesting story because uh, during the Second World War, yeah, 
they couldn't understand why all the aeroplanes used to come in that way. Yeah. Uh, it was because all the ladies at the exhaust auxiliary used to skinny dip <laughs> and so all the pilots used to make a detour to <laughs> Mike Bowen yeah. says what a great check what a guy uh, Mike Bowen is he does our, our graphic stuff for uh, center stage stuff he's, he's also fantastic and he's helping out with my coffee too thank you Mike for that it's fantastic uh, and Michael Clement he's always uh, taking photos uh, of the beachfront in the mornings They're loving the show Derek Nesib, how much for an A5 size portrait? You'll have to message him. Five grand. <laughs> we'll do it. <laughs> in. We're in. Take it. <laughs> oh, Michael, thank you. <coughs> but okay, let's let's get back to the. Uh, Alex, how's it? Okay, there's okay, Alex. Gary Whitfield, Alex. Now, Alex Gavan. Yes. What a, what a, he was. Musa. Uh, he was a musa. Yeah. He's, he's in Scotland now. Oh, all right. Uh, yeah, Alex, actually, I think so, yes. I've he's seen him there. Brilliant. Yeah. Derek Leckerman, Leckerman. Yeah, no, he's, uh, he's a really talented artist. Great um, music. Artist. Um, I've known him since he was a little kid. Mm. And I've, I've known his mom even longer. Oh, um, my so, word. Uh, yeah, how's it, mate? Start again. I missed the start, she said. <laughs> <laughs> You're too late, Vivian. <laughs> You're going to be in time for Rewind. the Rewind. <laughs> Indeed. All right, let's have a look at some of these yeah. things. The most adventurous thing you've ever done in your life. Hmm. Come on the show. Hey, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, you jumped off anything? You... No, I spent my life being adventurous. So yeah. it's. You, um, I think you were expelled from about fifty schools. Yeah, so that's pretty you know, adventurous. Um, <laughs> probably walking through Angola. Well, yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. pretty. Well, you kind of forced to. Yeah. Oh my. Uh, your biggest supporter or mentor or role model in your no, career? No, there's two there. Yeah. My biggest support is my wife. Mm. Mm. I wouldn't be here without it. Um, yeah. My mentor yeah. is my uncle. Your uncle? Wim? Yeah, no. My uncle Derek, uh, Uncle Dick, sorry. Uncle Dick? Yeah. Okay. Um, Richard Nesbitt, I've named my son after him. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. And we, you know, we, we actually we friends yeah it's not okay. about being an uncle yeah or, yeah we mates okay oh that's that's cool I man. mean the two of us did a we went to Scotland a few years ago and can you believe at 80 years old yeah we went for the record of how many pubs we could do in a day <laughs> 80 <laughs> jeez like that is hectic okay well so it's tough Oh, as nails. <laughs> Absolute respect. And oh, we, and by the way, the record was eight. All oh, right. <laughs> eight pubs in a day. Fantastic. I love it. We started a, a, in Oban. Yeah. Okay. And we started at 11 o'clock in the morning when it opened and the ladies went shopping. <laughs> and we turned off our phones. <laughs> okay. And we arrived back at just probably close to 12. Your okay that night holy crap and we tried to sneak in oh no no no! you're not going to sneak at that stage no we did a damn good job of sneaking oh really <laughs> and then uh he s smacked and broke his toe on the last step ah god and there were a lot of shouts and screams and then everyone woke up and then i was in the crap oh was yeah like that. of course no. again Derek's in the crap again but but it's like you know what's the culture the umalume your uncle is a big thing. Yeah. It's, a, it's true. Your uncle is a, is a big one. It's, it's, it's a... Uh, uh, my, my father's younger brother. Okay. And believe it or not, um, never got on with my dad. Mm. But... I 
do it on a regular basis. So <laughs> yes, I'm not sure. You put your foot in your mouth a lot. Yes. Yeah, my brother does that too. He's, yeah. he's good so, uh, where did I screw up? <laughs> where did I screw up? Royally and wish I hadn't done something. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I... You wouldn't go back and change anything in your life. I wouldn't go back and change it. Yes, that's it's cool. You've done yeah. it. It's, we do it again. I do it. I mean, I do. <laughs> yeah, it's part of my yeah. curse. It's true. It's, it's part of who you are in the end. I mean, uh, you do it. You end up. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know? Where, where you end up is, is definitely part of your, your your journey affects where you end up, you know? So, you know, if you're happy where happens, you are. happens, deal with it, move on. That's it. The oldest thing that you own. Listen, if I say my wife, I'm in the shit. Okay, you Other than your wife. <laughs> <laughs> and, okay. The oldest thing I own is um, a cap ah. um, from the American Civil War, a Confederate. Ah, a cap. Confederate cap? Yeah. Good Lord. Those must be quite valuable. And it was bought, my father in law bought it for me on auction. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Gee whiz, that's a, that's, that's a winner. Yeah. Do you so wear it sometimes and say, hey, how you doing? No, but my son <laughs> did. did. <laughs> so what happened, every time the grey boys yeah. arrived at my house for a party, oh, right. they'd all grab, because I, I have helmets <laughs> from all over the world. Oh, helmets. And so they'd all put on the helmets and party. Oh, no mm. ways. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm sure you've got one of those, helmets. The, the German Nazi helmets. Yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah. I've got yeah, the ones, yeah. Like British ones. They all look different. Eh? All. Yeah. They got that. So these kids would. Do I'd you? arrive home at night. And yeah. Here was kids wearing my antiques. <laughs> <laughs> those, did, did you you used to read those those uh, stories? Those old sort I of. Have uh, a, I have about magazines. I have about two hundred. They were, they were caught. They were um, yes, the little yeah. war comic. What were they I called? What were they, what are the names? I, I can't remember. I had a whole bunch of them. Uh, no, when I was I, young. I about two hundred of them. Wow! <laughs> and, and it was a GI Joe yes, kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, I have them all. It was all all propaganda stuff, obviously. But, but no, uh, they I'm were sure. war stories. And yeah. and, and, and we, when we were young, these these were. I mean, we were yeah. brought up in a comic book era. Mm, mm. I mean. Nobody, these kids today wouldn't know. I know the comic books. The joy, yeah, of going and getting. Do you a think Batman comic or? <laughs> did that affect your 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 drawing and stuff? Did you yes. draw that stuff all the time? Yes, I mean you you did. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I didn't, but obviously you did. I did. <laughs> no, I didn't. Didn't read the read no, the things. Did. I mean, uh, uh, and we we were creative, you know. Yeah. And we didn't have cell phones or laptops or. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. just, uh, I just yeah. see, I see Viv's got a comment there. It says, uh, not our Uncle Richard. Of course, Viv is my aunt. It says, mm -hmm. not our Uncle Richard. He was really special. He was. Uncle, he used to call himself Uncle Poop. <laughs> you no, I know yeah, where that's coming from. <laughs> in Queenstown. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The most physically painful thing you've ever experienced. Okay. Um... A torn groin muscle. Jeez! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, okay, I'll get you that. I'll get uh, you that. Playing indoor. Yeah. In Utenag. Oh. Against, <laughs> against Old Grey. Mm. And, man, I went to kick a ball and there was a loud snap and <laughs> I landed in that position. <laughs> oh, good. And I've never been in so much agony in my life. Oh, muscle. Yeah. Okay, so, so torn tearing your groin muscle, muscle, muscle is, is one of the ones that you got to watch out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, no. Um, the most awkward thing that happens to you on a regular basis? No, that's an ongoing thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's always in the cuck. That's the problem. That's the problem. Yeah, no. <laughs> Skip past that one. What, what awful movie do you love? <laughs> that everybody else teases you about, no doubt. Mm -mm. I don't think I look at movies that way. Not, not, not mm. like that. Uh, uh, moving okay. on swiftly. Yes, yeah, so not, not uh, music ever. Fuck off. <laughs> not in your. Okay. Jeez, I'll tell you the Oaks watching this. <laughs> yes. I hate ABBA. Okay. <laughs> right. 
All right. Oh, I've never had someone so vehement, vehemently <laughs> Oh, no. I, no, no. But, uh, dear old friend of mine, Rob Immelman. Yes. Uh, he loves ABBA. Okay. So just to piss me off, you'll put ABBA on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a more heavy metal man. Oh, right, all right, okay. Okay, a bit of metal head. Mm-hmm. Oh, weird. Like metal, like in... Uh, like hectic metal, like like uh, AC. We're talking about Judas AC, Priest. DC, Judas Priest. Okay, that's like that's rock really these days. No, but Judas Priest. Um, uh, I'm also your Guns turbo and and lover. <laughs> but also, you know, I, I also love Def Leppard. And, okay, and, Def and, and, yeah. But yeah. but but heavy. Yeah, okay, but but uh, heavier. So it's, but you you're talking actually about rock there, really. That's like because it, it's things have changed. Well, you. You know, the, in the early I don't days, care it was where they moved the goalposts to. Yes, <laughs> they've moved the goalposts on. Yeah. Like, but, like yeah, Metallica but is it, really okay. rock these days. Uh, uh, um, Black Sabbath. I mean, Sabbath. Y- you know, okay, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that was metal. That was metal uh, in eighty. In the old days. Um, uh, you're, but I mean, uh, come on, we can go back further. Iron Maiden. Uriah Heep. Oh, you're right. Heep. Uh, that was really underground. Uh, they yeah, underground. Uh, you know, and so, yeah. and so it's what. I don't care what man they put on. <laughs> but uh, come on, in, in those days we also liked Kiss. And <laughs> oh, Kiss as well is great. But that's really rock. I mean, that's, uh, it, is, it is pretty much rock. So I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm so, with you there. Uh, um, but Nickelback. Um, ACDC. Nickelback. Uh, Nickelback is a bit poncy. You know, it's a little bit Canadian, sort of well, very... Look, look, now that Gary Joyce is saying, how's it? <laughs> hey, how's it, but? I don't think it would take long to say the F word. Back off, man. <laughs> it's okay, there's no rules here. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> oh, that's classic. No, no, so, I mean, uh, no, I, mean I like, I enjoy, the, I enjoy ACDC, I like, I love... Uh, when Look, I was we, uh, 70. I was, I was really very lucky. Uh, uh, my mum lived in the UK. Yeah, okay. And so I used to go over there and stay with her and also draw the chalkboards. And oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah. <coughs> so you started and your then, chalkboarding there in the UK, huh? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, before, before, before South Africa. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then... Um, yeah, the... Uh, Getting uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, lost my train. No, 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 it's we're fine. Uh, we, we're talking about we're talking about music, but uh, but I'm gonna. Yeah. It happens often with. Yeah, but ABBA getting. But, uh, uh, no, yes. but hang on. Closet ABBA fans. Robert Moon says is a closet ABBA, ABBA fan. Screw. So. <laughs> so <laughs> okay, strikes. No, <laughs> <laughs> not gonna happen, mate. <laughs> okay. Love that Dolphin in pigment one with the sunglasses. Put it up again, Gary. I, I, Which I one? don't know if Gary can find it. I don't know where it is. This oh, is, but I've done nothing. Is this Jacob Zuma? I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, see. that was old. Um, okay. I don't know. I don't know which yeah. one it was. That one. But yeah, this yeah. one is is so hectically complicated. It must have taken you weeks. No. <laughs> I'm looking at this. <laughs> this one, yeah, yes. <laughs> we have to look at the picture. What, what castle is that? Is that Leeds Castle? Mm-hmm. Now, just about the Battle of Crecy. Okay, where is it? And there was a castle there. Eh? I'm going to have to go and look up now. I'm going to have to go and look yeah. up the Battle of Crecy now. I don't so, know. so it's all those. You know, I had this idea about doing. Um, okay, well, this one's. Mm. Yeah, this is this is in Colbert. Yeah, I'll have a I'll have a large sheaf blue plated, make it fresh and make it snappy. <laughs> he looks it, like he's it was reading one of the floods. <laughs> okay. And the windows came out. Oh my so wish. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that I did for a magazine called Full Circle. Okay. Mm. <laughs> the Cape Town Mag. Yeah. Do you spend some time in Cape Town? Mag? No, my brother does. Okay, he, okay. he lives there. Oh wow! Yeah. Personally, I see no problems at Butelezi. No, that was fucking. Ooh. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, that that's wow. Mugabe. Mugabe, Mugabe. Mm. Oh, it's Mugabe. Okay, okay. Mm. I see no problems. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You see the top e con. No money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see, yes, yeah. no you money. See, you must always look at this. E con, no money. 
It was and that's what I like to do. So, so have have powerful artwork. Yeah. But people can see in the background yeah, something yeah. else is happening. If you look more carefully, you'll yeah. see other stuff. So like look a, at that. Yeah, we will do. Yeah. I'm going to look at that now. Yeah. All right. So into the quick questions. Let's, we, we, we have a quick question section here. We have a either ors and a would you rather. Let's have a look at the quick. Rapid fire. Rapid fire questions. Okay. The first album you ever bought. Black Sabbath. Oh, which one? Was no, Black, Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. Sabbath Black Sabbath. Mm. Your so, so really always heavy, eh? Yeah. Uh, what's your biggest weakness? No, I don't have any. No weaknesses. <laughs> oh, golf. <laughs> golf is a weakness. No, no, not going good. Do you have a biggest strength? Strength. Yeah. Love. 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 Uh, what song can you listen to on repeat? Sure. Um, no. Carry on. No, no. Abba. Not Abba. <laughs> Never. No. Not Abba. But probably... Um, money, Probably money. Mark Bat, Walls of the World. War of the Worlds. Walls of the World. Walls of the World. <laughs> yeah, Mark Bat. Probably Mark Bat. I don't or, know that. Or the road to Akabar. I'm going to have to go and listen. This is, sounds like artsy, fartsy probably, stuff. Probably, no. Probably one of the best. Is it rock? No. What is it? Mark Bat. Yeah. Walls of the World. I've never, I don't it's, know it's, Mark Bat. It's the most, I promise you the most um, spelling... Uh, yeah. a, a song you'll ever hear in okay. a while. So, so spell binding, spell binding. Wait, wait. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, what's his uh, name again? Mike. Mike. Mike Bat. Mike Bat. I'm so, gonna, so it's Mike Bat and the London Symphony Orchestra. Somebody remind me, Mike Bat. <laughs> Bo, did you ever take inspiration from the cartoonist Giles? Oh, all the time. I have his whole collection. Really? Oh man. I have his whole collection. Uh, and Gary Larson. Uh, look, Gary. Gary was a really good humorist. He couldn't draw, hmm. and <laughs> but shit, he had a sense of humour. Um, yeah. Yes, uh, big time. Uh, yeah, uh, Gary. Why don't you ask okay, me this okay, as well? Okay. It's like uh, 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 Calvin, Calvin and Hobbes or a, uh, or a thing. Have, have you ever considered doing some sort of syndication, a syndicated thing like that, like a Garfield or a? Well, thing? I, I wish I had that. <laughs> you can do it. You can totally I don't know. do it. You know, I don't know. You've never tried? I've never tried. Well, I think it's time mm. that you should try. So like we'll that. see what happens. You find some characters, you find something that you enjoy, or some of your lead soldiers. Yeah, but, then, but, then you, but then you're stuck. You see, this is the problem that I have. Yeah. Is you then stuck with... Um, the same characters okay, over so and you over, go and over and again. Do it. But I mean, so you could I prefer, do it as... I pre no, I prefer to do what to I'm do doing. To do whatever you want to do. Yes. Okay, I get, I get that. It, it, yeah. it does does make it um, it's your, one so thing. Th there's like 20 little 15 minutes of fail. Yeah, so. yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what's your guilty pleasure? Man, my son and myself... Yeah. Enjoy a good scotch. A uh, good scotch is great. <laughs> so we, so we enjoy, and it's the most beautiful moments. Yeah. Um, is that, because he lives in Cape Town. Huh? Okay. But he gets himself a really good scotch, <laughs> and I get a really good scotch, and we watch the, we watch the footy, and we Lovely. sit in, and that... Isn't it's it the best? Pleasure. You've got to have that with your with your son. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your, uh, Gary wants to know what your favorite cartoonists, who, who your favorite cartoonists are, and what do you love about them? Look, look uh, I mean, nobody can. Uh, uh, you know what? I took over from Mark Wiggett. Yeah. I loved his work. Yeah. Um, so we're talking local. Yeah. Um, it's a Piro. He yeah, is the king. Yeah. He's and a love him to bits. And really, you know, hard masters to 
yeah. to follow and to stay. That's amazing stuff. Do you, do you think he works with a team? I don't know, but yeah. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't. I don't. I don't. It's just going to be yourself. But I wonder. I wonder what he does. How he does it. You know, uh, Robin Mooman saying, uh, saying, dancing queen. <laughs> That's what he listens to. No, obviously no. listening to you on repeat. <laughs> Uh, international international cartoonists. Uh, yeah, look, there are a lot that, uh, but mostly historic, huh? Okay, yeah. you like that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm not. Um, no, I mean they yeah. they are not a lot of people that I follow. I follow or, or, or want to. I mean, I just draw. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, you you, I mean, you I have got draw. your own style and your own thing. You know, it's like. It's like you've developed this over over so many years of, of, of doing it. Well, I hope it. I have a style. I mean, yeah. you know, I don't know. Yeah, I know. Absolutely. I, I, I think so. I don't know. But, and I mean, uh, you, you, you know, you sit and work every day. Yeah. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, I don't know if what I'm doing is funny. I don't yeah. But I'm... But I'm, I'm not, uh, it's all going to come after you dead. God then they're going to be like, oh, Derek Nesbitt, no, he had a no. certain style about yeah. him. Well, well, you know? We redefined. <laughs> <laughs> we hope so. <laughs> yes. Oh, my word. Okay, um, what's a talent that you have which people might be surprised to hear about? Play music? Mm -mm. Not. No, I don't think anybody's going to be surprised about it. It's just drawing and... Uh, like you know... Okay, I won't say golf. <laughs> yeah, I won't say golf, no. no. It's not, that's not one of the talents golf. that he's on about. Uh, <coughs> no, I, I don't think I, I'm, I'm pretty cut and dry. No, so, and, and what you see is what you get with Derek. Yeah. Huh? Absolutely. Um, uh, what is your... Have you got a favourite quote? No. No favorite. I don't have a favorite quote either. There's so many bloody quotes out there. And by the way, if anybody said it is what it is, it's the biggest defeatist thing I've ever. Oh, seen. Really? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You don't like I that. I hate it. <laughs> All right. Let's do uh, cooking. Cooking is a. Oh, I love go. cooking. Oh well, there we go. There's a talent that yeah. you got that nobody no, knows about. I love about. cooking. You know, you didn't make mm. us anything here tonight, yeah. but you know, yeah. we'll, we'll wait on that. Yeah. Now, <laughs> but, cook. I, um, I grow my own. And, and by the way, so Robbie Woman as well. Yes. The old mate. Yeah, I see that. Um, Tars and impersonations. What? <laughs> he says Tars and impersonations. Who? That, that, that uh, Rob Inman says. Yeah, but he's he's obviously on drugs or something. <laughs> he's had a couple of, a couple of things. <laughs> Tomorrow's cartoon could be fun. I think you. I think you're right. <laughs> Why do you have think to, of that still, man? You have to walk. Hey, Craig. No. <laughs> Hey, let me tell you, we've had a few gins tonight, so let me tell you that that's gonna be like a that's gonna be a rough one tomorrow. <laughs> Derek, I'm enjoying it. Da David Hazelden is is our DA. Okay. Uh, but guy. He's, you know what? Hats off to him because he always comments and mm. brilliant. Thanks, uh, Dave. Uh, thanks, Dave. We mm. love you. You're gonna yeah. fix, fix the street lights. <laughs> Bry pork, poiki or gourmet meal? Uh, Philippa, we're still waiting for the snacks. We're well, waiting for the snacks as well. <laughs> no, but he's saying, she's saying, what do you enjoy cooking? Bry poiki or gourmet yeah, meal? Yeah, both. Uh, but, or, or, all, three, all three. All three. All three. All three. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a chef, eh? Is it? Mm. So, so you, would that have been a thing that you could have done? Like no, could, no, I'm just a cook. You just like I'm it. Not, I'm not a chef. Do you throw stuff together? Like I, I, I throw stuff I together. Love, like I'm like, oh, hey, what about this and this? Do you and know this? when you 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 sit and draw all day? Yeah. And then my wife goes to work. Yeah. And then to me, it's my going home from work thing. Okay. So when you come home, glass of wine, and I cook, and I make sure that when she comes home, she has a good meal. What? Oh, that's wonderful. You're going to get some marriage requests soon. Yeah, I can and check us. I grow my own stuff. Oh, really? I've got my whole Excellent. gardens and herbs and You chilies. dry it out and smoke it yourself as well? Everything. <laughs> no, seriously. But I do so, so your herbs and your, and your veggies and everything you grow? No, I smoke them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time for the either ors. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look and see what the either oh, ors. There's a bit of fun for the end.
can I touch it's the easy <laughs> no, no no I'm fine I'm quite right <laughs> all right introvert or extrovert I'm, uh, I'm going with introvert okay yeah it's a bit of an in-betweener no look I see you as a little bit shy but you but you're out there uh, I'm gregarious okay all right uh, all right do you think, do you my, think my that grandmother used to say you're gregarious? <laughs> do you think that that moving from school to school and and all that stuff Look, uh, I fit in. Ma- made you made you make friends quicker? Well, it's fit in. Yeah, you have to go for it. Oh. Yeah. So or think, otherwise, you're gonna have a, a very unhappy life. Yes, yes, you're yeah. right. You're right. Uh, Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs. Uh, form or function? What? Form or function? Like functional or form? Beautiful. Both. Both. Mm. You have to have a bit of both. Mm. Okay. Uh, most important in a partner, intelligent or funny? Both. <laughs> no, you've got to give either or, uh, I think. Go on. you got to choose. Go on, you have because to choose. I, have, I have a wonderful wife. Yes. Yeah, well, we know yeah. that. No, but, but she's funny. <laughs> and and she's intelligent. Yeah. yeah so. I know, but, but if you had to choose... Would you rather choose intelligent or funny? Intelligent. Okay. <laughs> You're a boring, intelligent person. Well, <laughs> okay. Being too warm or too cold? You can only choose one. Yeah, Be but that's, too a, warm that's or like too cold. a really crappy question. <laughs> of course they are. Gary set them up. <laughs> Gary, I mean, I love cold. Cold. Pre- prefer cold. Okay. Antique or brand new? Antique. Mm. I saw that. A mansion in the suburbs or a cam- cabin in the mountains? I'm a mansion man. <laughs> <laughs> Charming or genuine? Uh, genuine. Okay, rather genuine. Honesty mm. is better. Uh, alone or in a crowd? A crowd. A crowd. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're one of the only ones who's chosen that one. Rich and bored or employed and tired? Both. <laughs> you can't say I just want my money. <laughs> okay, yeah, rich but, and bored then. Yeah, no, I mean, you don't pick that. Okay. <laughs> Painfully aware or blissfully ignorant? Well, ignorant, ignorance is bliss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I'd rather be happy. <laughs> I get it. Forgiveness or vengeance? Yeah, I'm vengeance. <laughs> I'm that's, what, that's what got you expelled from all the schools. <laughs> Would you have an ugly girlfriend or no girlfriend? <laughs> that's such a rough that's question. A, that's Gary. actually a stupid question. <laughs> that's so everybody, <laughs> By the way, everybody is somebody. So yes, of course. Ugly girlfriend. Boss. <laughs> you could have an ugly girlfriend. Mm. Okay. Uh, Beatles or Rolling Stones? Definitely Rolling Stones. Yeah, I'd say so as well. Yeah. Red wine, white wine? Red. Red. iPhone or Samsung? iPhone. <laughs> Artsy fartsy, eh? <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, now we're time for, time for the Would You Rathers and then right into the, into the competition. <laughs> <laughs> Would You Rathers. Okay. These are these are. You got to give one of the one or the other. You have to choose. You have to choose now. Would you like? Would you rather be honest, an honest asshole, or a sweet liar? Honest asshole. <laughs> an ugly genius or a hot moron? Now, I would be a hot genius. Oh no, you can't say that. You got to be a hot uh, moron. Ugly genius. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Extremely smart or extremely lucky? <laughs> extremely smart. <laughs> oh, come on. Extremely lucky. I prefer extremely lucky. No, you, luck. You can't go with luck. <laughs> you can't do the luck. But you're going to be lucky. No, it's easy. You're going to take lots of tickets to me. Don't be yeah, silly. Okay. A happy fool or a troubled genius? Ooh, that's a difficult one, eh? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Happy fool. Or a okay. troubled genius. I think I th- I'd be a troubled genius. A <laughs> troubled genius. You're going to be the, the typical artist. I think that's what they are. Yeah. I think that's what. We are heartbreaker 
be a heartbreaker or be the one that always gets your heart broken? Mm, okay, that's a very difficult question. <laughs> Especially for, for for your wife. Yes, yeah. you know, with okay. your wife in mind. So, but don't, don't you can't, you know. So, uh, say that again. So, uh, be a heartbreaker or be the one that always gets your heart broken. Yeah, I'd rather have my heart being broken. I oh, really? Oh. Do you make uh, you a better uh, artist? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Because you have to be a troubled person to actually do good To play the blues. Yes. It's, it's yeah. true. It's true. 99% chance to win 100,000 bucks or a 50-50 chance to win 10 million. Which one do you take? The 10 million. Oh, no worries. I'll take the 100 <coughs> <coughs> no, Screw that. Uh, 10 million. 50-50. You lost. Go for broke. Go for broke. <laughs> broke. Yes. Yeah. Uh, be painfully aware or blissfully ignorant? I'd like to be painfully aware. <laughs> you reckon? <laughs> I'd go for the blissfully no, ignorant. I need to know what's happening. Brad <laughs> <laughs> Winston, say I'm a troubled genius who would like to be a happy fool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, Pat. but Patrick, it's not all about you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're okay, Pat. We're good. Trouble. He is a trouble. It's not all about you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. How about would you rather be smart but a clump, uh, 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 be smart but accomplish very little, or be stupid but accomplish a lot? <laughs> okay, that's like that's like a difficult one. Right? <laughs> like a fool. But you, but you accomplish a lot. No. But I mean, or you, or you okay? Be very smart. Well, but well, you, if I wasn't smart, I wouldn't be where I am. So <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, smart, but you accomplish very little. <laughs> very, very little. <laughs> uh, would you like? Would you be your love's second choice or your second love's first choice? <laughs> okay, okay. Explain this one. <laughs> would you would you be your no, hang on, hang on. Your Gary, first you gotta come out here. Your because first love's second choice or your second love's first choice. I don't think you can answer that with your I wife watching. Read. No, but I also don't know what it says. <laughs> no, am I her first choice very... am I her first choice no, or no, your your first love. Your first love oh, no, like she was like a, my only love. Your only love. So yeah. so you were her uh, second choice. You'd yeah, rather be a second we've been, choice. We've we done and drive and that's okay. it. Well, it, it's, I, I want to say, um, it, it's, it's your, so you, you would be the, her, her second choice. Um, <laughs> you, you were, yeah. yeah, you can see why they kicked you out of school. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Would you rather kill an endangered species? Uh, species? Yes. Would you rather kill an endangered <laughs> or a convict? Would you kill a convict or you kill an endangered oh, the last, the endangered species? Like the last black rhino or something. Well, I think I'll kill them both and let God sort it out. <laughs> See who's left. See if there is another one. <laughs> I don't know if you can do that. Would you like to live in 1968 or 2068? Future or past? 1968, I think I'd like to live. Hmm. Like just before Woodstock. Yes. Before Charles and Manson and the whole next thing. Year I'm there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. I think I'd no. like to try 26. No, I could see Jimi Hendrix. I could. Oh, yeah, you man. could. You uh, could. Absolutely the animals, unbelievable. Yeah. Stones. Uh, that's right. Okay. Marry and divorce or never marry at all? That. Nah. Marry for life. <laughs> You're not allowed to choose that one. <laughs> <laughs> Sue, Sue got you. Oh, Sue! How's it, doll? <laughs> sure, you're so we were at, uh, taking on together. Oh no ways! I, yeah. I hope you still an absolutely continue. Absolutely spectacular woman. Is she? Is she also? Uh, she, was she your yes, yes, yeah. No, we was, was she your second? Together. Was she your second love and the first? No, no, no. no. We were okay, just okay. really good friends. Okay, good. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna get you into some How's it Sue? <laughs> How's it Sue? And I hope she paints as well and does. Yes, it no, no, no she, but also um, she does. Uh, what? Anyway, carry okay, on. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, save your pet. Would you rather save your pet or save a random stranger out of a river? My pet. 
<laughs> the poor random you're stranger. Not, you're not drowning my dog. You could. It, that could give you work. No. That they'd be ahead of a company no. and they're drowning, and you're like, no, your dog. My there. dog's drowning. I'm going to go for my dog. <laughs> I love my dog. <laughs> okay. All right. Last question. Would you would you rather truly love someone you can never have, or have someone that you can never truly love? <laughs> Okay, well, that's like a little bit of a bitch question. It is. <laughs> it is. I have someone that I wanted and always have had. And okay. Mm. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give you that one for the last question. <laughs> Derek. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Derek, for coming on. We, we, we've got, uh, we, I always ask my, 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 uh, my guests one last Thanks question. Thanks to Leeds. Thank you to Fitch and Deeds. The, the, the most embarrassing moment, your most embarrassing moment, if you can remember one. Uh, in the last month? <laughs> no, in your, in your career, in your life. Uh, is there, if there's an embarrassing moment or if there's... No, well, they happen daily. Okay, it just mm. happens all the time. No. That's what, <laughs> you know, that's the curse. And your proudest moment in your... <sighs> Well, my proudest moment is still to come. Still to come. Mm. It's going to still happen. Yep. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll drink to that. Thank you, Derek Nesbitt, for coming on board. Cheers. It's competition <laughs> time now. Yeah, thank you, Tracy Cockroft. You're so talented. Thanks, he Tracy. Is, he you're is amazing. Good. And we're going to do that. that oh, Sue. Sue. Love you, eh? <laughs> and, and we've got to do a, a, a oh, exhibition. We were at Technicon together. Oh, it's amazing. And I, 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 I love it that everybody's here from all over the world. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we, we are here now. At the end, we're going to do the competition. 30, there, there, there's a bunch of guys on, on, online watching live. <laughs> you guys can win the competition. We're going to send you a, a case of Fitch and Leeds. I'm going, to put in my, um, I'm going to put in my headphones because we're going to go to the... Uh, let, me, let me put this, uh, this mic off here and this one on. All right, we're going to, on the mic again. Thank you so much, Derek, for coming on board. It's been absolutely fantastic to have you here. We've had a lot of copious amounts of gin. <laughs> and it's been great. All right, so this is the competition. We, we need the name of the song and the name of the artist in the comments. Whoever puts it in there um, can get a, a, a case of Fitch and Leeds. We will send it to you no matter where you are. Even if you're in England, we can send it to England as well. So those guys in England, you can also do it. All right, so stick in your headphones there. Those, those headphones, you're going to have to because it's getting loud in here. It's getting loud. All right. Here we are. We can even have Derek in the shot as well. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I want the name of the artist and the name of the song in the comments. Whoever does it wins the competition. They're pitching leads. <laughs> Going here. 
You have to put it on there. There we go. There we go. And we're back to my thing. Thank you very much to Spa. And thank you very much to Spitcher Leeds. And thank you very much, very much to Derek Desmond for coming in. It's been fantastic. <laughs> and we'll see you on Saturday. Thursday. We, we're actually doing a live show on Thursday this week because of the rugby. There's rugby next week, Argentina. So uh, we've got Robin Williams coming on Thursday. Don't miss it. Robin, Thursday, half past six. And we will rebroadcast that on Saturday at half past six as well to make sure we don't miss a Saturday or a Tuesday. All right. Thank you to Pichelis. Thank you to Spa. Thank you to Bahamobia for our internet. And thank you to Derek for coming on. Thank you. Thank you. Let's sit down. Coming out of P.E. Town Drink, find a shot Never mind your liver Get to Gino's spot